it's a new day and a new Fortnite LXG domination video. Um, today we are playing as Paula Abdul, the 80s singer icon who's dressed in a modern day hoodie to try and conceal her identity from legions of fans. But the joke's on her because nobody remembers Paula Abdul anymore. Except for people who listen to like 80s stations. So pretty much everybody over like 40. Um, but we also got a sponsor today. And that sponsor, besides the Russian Esports Federation, is the Radiation Tron Heating Unit. And you can probably hear it in the background. I've been hearing it for the last 12 hours. And uh, I'll give it credit. It's very warm. Um, but I, it's making my head hurt a lot, like more than 16 hours of video games and no food or drink except for six or seven cans of Monster usually does. Like, uh, I'm, I'm really kind of like dying here. I, like, there was blood in my stool like six hours ago when I went on my first and only bathroom break. Um... But I gotta do the advertising deal. Oh, there we go. See? Uh, that's a fugue state. See, now Paula Abdul's fugue states are a lot quicker than Tony Hawk's because she was strung out on cocaine, whereas Tony Hawk was mostly on psychedelics. So, um, her fugue states just kind of, they're a lot quicker. They're a lot, a lot more simple. Um, and then a lot more sudden. So you have to plan for them. Um, just like you have to plan for what's going to happen when the car that you're living in now out uh, outside of the national park uh, gets blown up by a Molotov cocktail with you inside of it. Um, fortunately, we have the library for streaming, right? The library, it's a, it's a very important public resource. Um, so I really, I, I, I would normally do property development, but I just, I'm not thinking straight. And the fact that they let me bring this thing into the library for 12 hours is mostly because I'm afraid that, I mean, they're afraid that, that like, nobody wants to unplug this thing because it involves getting really close to it. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Um... So we're going to try and crest this hill and see if we can eliminate any of the scrubs. Um, he's, he's jumping pretty high. Um, there we go. Okay, that's one scrub down. Uh, now let's wander into the tube cube field as Paula Abdul's want to do and uh, become a ghost of pubic past. We'll fly higher than the highest mountains. I'm also surprised that they let you drink this much in the library. Honestly, that's that's a, that's a new thing. But then again, you know, most libraries ten years ago didn't used to sell beers like in the, in the lobby. And you can check out your books and you can buy a PBR. Six. They don't really have a serving limit because it's a government institution. I don't know how that works either. Canada's crazy. Speaking of drinking, um, right now we're drinking out of a plastic vodka bottle. Um, maybe that's why they let me drink out of it because it's plastic. It's got a resealable lid, you know. Okay. Fuck that stuff. Ah. Oh, I can feel myself going a little bit blind. Okay. Oh. All right. So we're gonna get up onto a vantage point and try and maintain control, strategic control over these pube cubes. Um, because that's an important strategic resource. Uh, now I know I said we wouldn't do much land development, but 
basic ramps are always something that you know you can use to, in any strat. Oh, we've got a scrub who's kind of tortoising up. Uh, so I'm going to be very careful about this high behind a tree. I'm going to this unit, Little Red Riding Hood, when it's actually Paula Abdul. Alright. Straight up. Now tell me. Do they really want to hide in there forever? Okay. I mean, they're very determined. I'm going to use quick property development on them. Oh. Now, see, they're pretty good at property development as well. Some Monopoly guy bullshit. But I think I'm the best because while they're coming from up top like that, I can come around and... I'm leaving the library. I have to. I have to leave the library now.